after his teaching on the Beatitudes, Jesus presents two metaphors as challenge to his disciples and listeners. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Salt is an essential ingredient in almost all food, particularly to provide taste and preserve its freshness. In order to be effective, salt has to be maintained its taste. Christians, imbued by the teachings and values of the kingdom, are the salt of the earth. The moment they fail to live accordingly, they are like salt without taste, useless. They are of no value and impact on society. No longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. No matter how tasty the salt is, if it is just lying out there away from food, it is useless. It has to be put into the food and dissolved. It blends completely and disappears from view. It is not meant to be seen, but the taste of the food reveals its presence. Such is what every Christian should be. He is in the world, but he is supposed to blend in within it, giving taste and preventing corruption. He cannot withdraw and remain separated from it. This is the mission of the laity. The Second Vatican Council spells it out. Since they have an active role in, to play in the old life of the church, laymen are not only bound to penetrate the world with a Christian spirit, but are also called to be witnesses to Christ in all things in the midst of human society. The second metaphor is, you are the light of the world. A good Christian cannot remain in hiding. He is like a city set on a hill or a lighted lamp. Otherwise, he is also useless. Every Christian is called to shine, not like the sun, but like the moon. The sun produces light, the moon only reflects it. God produces light, and Christians are expected to reflect the light of God. And the best way to reflect God's light is by living the commandment of love. The world is in darkness mainly due to man's selfishness, greed, and materialism. The only thing that will be, drive away this darkness is the power of love. It moves peoples to selfless generosity, to share and care, and get out of one's comfort zones in order to reach out to others. In one of his addresses to the youth, Pope St. John Paul II said, Dear young people, let yourselves be taken over by the light of Christ and spread that light wherever you are.